Welcome, I'm Nick McGugan on behalf of the Wood Pellet Association of Canada, and I'm excited to show you a glimpse into the maritime wood pellet industry. Wood pellets are a sustainable, low carbon, renewable fuel. Wood pellets can help the Maritimes meet our greenhouse gas reduction targets, delivering clean, convenient, and affordable energy to industry, institutions, commercial buildings, and homeowners. The Maritime Provinces are home to several wood pellet producers that can reliably supply your energy needs. Pellet energy means more money stays in the maritime economy. They replace fossil fuels which rely on crude and gas imports from outside the region. With wood pellets, well over 90% of your heating costs stay in the region, creating local employment in forest management, operations, manufacturing and distribution. Wood pellets are a renewable fuel, produced locally from sustainably managed forests. This harvester is selectively thinning a 20-year-old forest stand. This allows the remaining trees space and light to continue to grow to maturity. Wood pellet production can provide a market for these small harvested trees, allowing forest health and quality to be improved. In the Maritimes, 10% of wood pellets are made with material taken directly from the forest. I'm standing in a softwood forest that was replanted after a harvest in 1972. The trees are now mature and ready for harvest. Because the stand was well cared for in its youth through selective thinnings, the trees here are very high quality and will be brought to a sawmill. High quality hardwood stands like the one I'm standing in now also benefit from periodic thinning in order to improve the stand quality and provide logs for sawmilling. When these logs arrive at the sawmill, only 50% of the wood can be recovered as lumber for use in our daily lives. About 35% end up as wood chips, which are typically used in high value added industries like pulp, paper and tissue production. The remaining 15% are wood residues like sawdust, shavings and bark. Residue is the main raw material for wood pellet production. Currently in the Maritimes, 90% of the wood pellets are made from sawmill residues, resulting from the production of other products. Hi, I'm Charles Felix Gauvin, mechanical engineer in training here at Grey Nerve Pellets, and today I'll take you on a tour of how we manufacture wood pellets. First, trucks arrive from various local sawmills to deliver residues. Waste bark is used as the energy source to dry the fiber. The loader feeds the sawdust into the plant. It is carried to a hammer mill to be sized properly for drying. Then it enters a long rotary drum heated by the bark furnace to lower the moisture content below 10%. The fiber is sized further by another hammer mill before being conveyed to the pellet presses. In the pellet press, the pressure and friction heats up the fiber and compresses it. The natural lignin in the wood melts and glues the sawdust into pellets. There are no additives, only wood fiber. The pellets are now rapidly cooled in the coolers. This ensures high quality, durable pellets. Cooled pellets are screened to remove any dust or fine particles. These are recirculated back into the process. Now the pellets can be bagged for use in small appliances like pellet stoves and pellet furnaces or brought to the silo for storage prior to bulk transport. Currently, about 75% of the maritime wood pellet production is sold in bulk. Hi, I'm Francis Lamarche, a mechanical engineer for BSB. Let me show you our grandfather's hospital eating plant. It was commissioned early 2014 and it was a pilot project for the province of New Brunswick. We are in fact selling heat to Vitalité. We own, maintain and operate the facility for 10 years. We can see our delivery truck unloading wood pellet in the 55 ton silo. The truck can haul a bit more than 12 tons. From the silo, the pellets are carried into the combustion chamber by two hoggers. A few safety devices make sure everything is safe and the ignition and combustion are automatic. The combustion chamber is equipped with moving grates that push the fuel as it becomes hash. The energy is then transferred to the water in the fire tube heat exchanger. Ash is collected in a bin and the flue gases are cleaned by a cyclone. The boiler is also equipped with exhaust gas recirculation. The warm water is pumped in the 23,000 liter buffer tank. 
Every data is available on site or remotely and is logged into the computer. The boiler is controlled to manage the buffer tank. I am notified on my phone if any issues occur. The last step is the water being pumped to the hospital. It is measured by the energy meter for invoicing. Forest managers take great care to ensure harvested areas are reforested. Young growing forests absorb carbon dioxide from the air. On a forest-wide level, foresters ensure that over time the forest is growing more wood and sequestering more carbon dioxide than is being harvested each year. This means that the forest absorbs as much carbon dioxide as is being released by the decay of wood products that come from the forest, including those from the wood pellet industry. Canada is home to the world's highest percentage of third-party certified forests. You can have confidence that wood pellets are a sustainable, renewable energy option.